Welcome everyone to the next episode of Yosemite Valley and welcome uh, finally to uh, the smallest animal in this game which is now the prairie dog. Well, to be honest, the smallest habitat animal. Now, this habitat in particular um, is a completely new one in Yosemite so it's not a, a habitat that we needed to uh, put elsewhere um, where something already existed. This habitat is basically quite cleverly using the space that we are already had on the sideline of the camel habitat. Now, again, when I was pitching the idea uh, in our planning video, um, I was quite confused by how many people loved the idea actually, and uh, hence I just went in and made it. And actually, this habitat became my favorite until now of the entire DLC builds I did in Yosemite. Now, as I did pre-record quite a lot of this, um, you can you can tell that I have already done quite a couple of uh, habitats. Now, the big issue with some of them were that there was already a given space um, that I needed to work with and hence it didn't really feel quite new even though it is super new. Now. I needed to change a couple of things, I needed to put that in between, like the moose habitat that you will see as well um, is using a space that already existed but I needed to change a couple of little things. This one over here is a completely new one and I have to say in terms of a zoo habitat and in terms of a habitat that I built lately in terms of realism and stuff, this is amongst the best I've done and the most, you know, realistic at least what I think and I just love it to the max. It really is starting to be something um, I just enjoyed walking by and I utilized a lot of new pieces um, from from the 1.7 update as well uh, or pieces is the, the wrong term it's actually functions um, I used a lot of curbs and barriers I used a couple of other things uh, as well um, to make sure that this uh, you know a uh, boardwalk that goes all the way along here is working quite nicely um, which you will see at the end of the episode but I mean it just all turned out really really great and the, it's just such a joy to see these prairie dogs running around in their habitat. It look, you know, it just looks so super well, and it looks really very organic. And this is something I really haven't expected, but you will see um, that I'm very enthusiastic later on in the uh, in the real time part, which is around 12 minutes into the video. So if you you are the one of those skipping persons uh, make sure to jump over there and have a look into that but if you want to support the channel you obviously have to look every or watch every single second i'm just kidding by the way now we come now to the one central thing of this habitat even though that sounds a bit weird but this is really something i um envisioned having in here and i was Maybe this is a good inspiration for you guys. Now, I do know that some of you always keep asking where I do get my inspiration from. And most of the times I can say it's because I look around. Um, I'm very inspired by the environment in general. Like if I, you know, if I'm going for a walk or something or even running, I, I see things and they spark inspiration. However, when it then comes to making these things really in game, my one, two, or my, 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 my two go a source, so to say, is Zoo Chat. It's like a big forum for zoo enthusiasts and in, in, in there you can find everything. You find people writing a lot of stuff about different habitat designs and stuff like that. But as well, you are basically having the biggest database for photos from zoos actually. And you can just basically use the search function to type in an animal name and then just combine it with the naming enclosure, habitat, whatever. And then you'll find so, so many different habitats. And um, well, actually it gives you a couple of ideas. And um, so this is uh, one of those ideas I figured is kind of cool to make like a little building in which you have these bullseye uh, viewing areas. And honestly, I wasn't expecting it to work because I built all of this before we had the DLC at hand. Now I was pretty much guessing if they would fit in or not. And I, I would say it was a pretty educated guess because it just worked just fine. Every single bit worked just fine. Um, I built it a little bit bigger than I thought I have to because this was the learning from the meerkat habitat that I needed to go a tiny bit bigger um, than I would think I need to. Um, but at the end it just exactly worked out and I needed to exactly use these two, um, two planks next to each other is enough to create that little traversable area for them. Which to be fair is already one plank less than you needed for the meerkats which is kind of cool because that means even smaller and you can always use these uh, pieces over here to get a feeling of how small they are because these pieces are basically the in you know um, meerkats and also the prairie dog can go through this little gate and this is why I'm using always this gate as like a little um, help to guide me if I if I make them fit or not well 
back to the inspiration kind of thing. What I used to do is I really go to ZooChat and I'm, I'm saving a couple of images and then I'm really looking into these images, which of those would fit together to the style that I want to go to. Now, in this case over here, I really wanted to stay with a very generic Yosemite style, which um, utilizes these a little bit more modern um, wall designs. I used the mud pieces because I thought they give a very nice texture. Um, we got them with the Africa pack and I think they are very nice because again they, they offer a texture that we didn't have in the game so far um, available for making such a nice fence. Um, the mud pieces that we had were all grid pieces and always looked a little bit quicker, uh, quirky and stuff but this, this over here looks good. Um, a little bit of a hard thing to tackle was to find out where exactly I want to make you know the uh, the habitat start and end because you know there was so much space available that I thought you know what I just go over and um, utilize some of the pieces we already had and then I thought you know what I was just mirroring one of those wonderful viewing opportunities we had like this one viewing I made on the opposite side of the tropical domes um, had this wonderful wall design over here I made back then and so was, you know I'm just going to reuse that because it really looks kind of nice and now we have a wonderful little viewing spot for the guest in terms of what Watching half dome on the other side, you can also see the elephants pretty nicely. But you can also see um, the habitat, obviously. So uh, quite a lot of things, quite a lot of uh, lovely new vista points, so to say, or basically viewing, viewings, viewing. I think yeah, this is the word I want to use. Um, so it, it all just came together very nicely, and uh, you can see this is where the people can go up to and then have a little look inside of this little um, yeah house hut. It basically, it's just like a little shelter for them. Um, but since they do also burrow some kind of little holes and stuff, I, I you know I think they could easily live in here. Um, and then we have the natural barrier of the river because these animals don't really like to go swimming. So um, you know I just have that river over there and they don't really go in there. Um, I think it's it's really cool. I mean, in terms of a real life zoo, I think potentially you would have like a little uh, security fence over there, down there, so that they don't fall into the water. But I'm, I'm not really sure how clever they actually are. So I left it open because I assumed, well, you know what, they will not go and drown, drown there. They will just use this area and then that's, that's about it. I mean, technically, you know, in a real life zoo, you would have a lot, a lot of fish and stuff in this in this wonderful river, um, and potentially even such a big fish like some carps or so uh, that would even be able to to eat them. So potentially you would definitely need a security there, but we don't have that in the game, and so I just left it open simply also because you don't see the backside. It's like there's this edge, you know, the edge is falling down, and um, basically I just left it. But you can see putting down a couple of little um, you know items here and there, it just makes the whole habitat feels so much more natural and I really do love the habitat uh, as it turned out and I really hope that you guys do as well. Now here's here's a little task for me. If you guys watched the video to this point in time or you skipped here, whatever, hello Mr. Skipper or Mrs. Skipper, um, uh, please answer the question do you like this habitat as much as I do and also is this your favorite or if not what is your favorite you've seen so far um, in Yosemite Valley? Uh, maybe from the DLC but also in general uh, that would be a very very nice information for me because I'm just gathering all the information and same things applies uh, over here as well. If you guys want to be part of it, you can always deliver a little um, education board and the best education boards will be taken, put into the zoo and also will be taken uh, as a little dedication to you guys as being a wonderful supporter of this project. I can't even stress enough how happy I am because Yosemite Valley, as it stands, has already uh, is nearing 2 million views in total, the uh, playlist of Yosemite Valley. Can you just imagine 2 million views in total of this series and nearly a million unique views? That is just insane. Nearly 1 million people in the world have seen the series Yosemite Valley, at least one episode of it. I, I just... I always have to remember, uh, remind myself of how crazy that is. Um, it's a little bit of a sad thing that it doesn't really reflect in my YouTube channel at the moment. I have very nice views and very nice uh, kind of interaction rate, and people seem to be very happy. But unfortunately, not really that many people sub. Um, I, you know, I don't know why it is. I mean, I can somehow understand this because I also, for for me personally, I have like my list on YouTube, my feed. I don't know. I think I sub to over 80 people or so. So obviously, your tendency to sub someone else is quite low when you don't want to fill that in but honestly though I started to sub again just to help people out and you know help them and them grow and show the algorithm that I like the stuff I, I watch because I still at the end can 
decide myself if I want to watch it or not. So I, I do get it that you don't want to sub because then your feed is even more full and maybe I'm not even your priority channel, which is totally fine if you just watch every now and then. Uh, that is absolutely wonderful. Um, but, you know, if you want to help and you're, you know, you're not too worried that your list is even one step fuller, um, then just put my name in there just hit that little subscribe button and uh, that will be very amazing. Now, talking about the curbs over here, you can see I'm using the curbs to create um, actually this flowing path and now finally we have these things and we can sink them into the ground and now they will all not run into these weird um, planters anymore. Yeah, you can see this is where I got the DLC finally and I could put the animals in and I could put some new, new birch you know, pieces in. We, we got some little birch pieces, uh, very nice little branches. I put some of them in, but not too many because they're like really tiny, which is great, but they're like super tiny. Um, yeah. So that's about it from my side on the time lapse. I really hope you enjoyed the time lapse and now um, you will be greeted with a wonderful 10 minutes of real time part. So enjoy that one. I count myself out for the time lapse and uh, I hear you after the cut. So, as promised, we are also here in the real time part of the Prairie Dog uh, build. Now, this one really became my favorite here. I really remember when I was, uh, you know, kind of pitching the idea of putting that here to the left hand side. Uh, you guys actually liked the idea quite a bit, and I wasn't really too sure, but I think I found a way by looking a lot at Zoo Chat and so on uh, that integrates very well in this area. But before we go, so I actually stopped the game here at one spot because look at the little one. Look at the little one sitting there in the in the little tube i just love that view i mean just just look at that this little one is actually um, sitting in here and and enjoying its time and i might i mean just so cool this is why i didn't uh, hit play so now we have play and you can see this little one look just, it's so cool i'm just so happy that it worked out exactly how i imagined it to be like that you stand over here and you see them moving in this little hut and um, again i'm super happy that it fits you know actually this works a lot better as um, I remember it with the meerkats. I'm not really sure why that is, but um, this is size-wise actually smaller than the little viewing gallery I made with the meerkats right over there, which I might be able to... Oh my god, look at this small one there! This is so cool! Now we've got two of them! I just love that view over here. Sorry, I'm just going to enjoy this uh, all the time now because I, this game, we, we do... Actually, we do... Um, criticize that quite often and many times for a good reason but sometimes the game just has this these moments that are just way too good to uh, well you know not that moment though I want to go down here can I can I just get down here yeah there you go um, I have no clue how I made that but whatever we are down um so <laughs> yeah he's gone oh no our little friend is gone yeah oh no go there let go look 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 it's going down. It's looking actually so cool. <laughs> I'm so happy about this. This is just, it, it took me a while to figure that building out as you've seen in the time lapse, but yeah. So let's get back to the start over here. Well, depending on what you define the start, but this is going to be our new sea line area. At this point, it's still labeled a uh, gray seal, but it's definitely going to be changed into this sea lion. Um, and then you come down here. So on the right hand side, we have the camels, our best friends, uh, our patrons, our best people everywhere, our, like best animals at all you know there's there's nothing better i'm just kidding um but we have we need to have them in here okay and then we've got the prairie dog habitat over here and i think it fits so well because it gets a little bit of the idea as if they're living in the open as well because it is just to the riverside and definitely all the all the space available we have this new little viewing spot over here to have a wonderful wonderful view of half dome and you can see the elephants on the other hand side i think the the sidelines and the views of the zoo they just finally come to together. Um, this area here will completely be changed, but I think I still like the view with uh, the aquatic house here. I'm not gonna lie, this is really cool. And we will bring something in here, but this will not destroy the view. Actually, it will add to the view, so that's kind of nice. But we are here for the prairie dog, so let's have a little glimpse into their habitat. So nothing is really going on over here, except this little dude uh, chilling down here in the grass. But yeah, now we come down the road utilizing all of the new features we have in this wonderful build. Now, with 
with the 1.7 update, finally curbs and barriers made its way into the game. We know them and we love them from Planet Coaster. This gives us a lot more control over the pathing and I'm gonna show you right now what I did in case you just skipped to the real time part and know that people do this, you know, you wanna see the game in real and oh my god, look at all these little fellows over here. Look at that, I just love that. I just love them. Are you playing with each other? I haven't, I haven't looked too much into all of the animations so I hope that they do do some animations together maybe right now look they're just oh my god did you see that roll over oh wow what did, what the this is so cute oh my god that was like legit super cute okay this is a totally unique animation i definitely definitely know that the uh meerkats don't do that or at least i have never seen that that would be that would be very coincidental if i have seen that now but yeah so this is look at that there's the animation again in the background they're like oh my god this is so cute this is so freaking cute. I've seen them also sitting quite a lot, you know, sitting and looking around, which they quite often do in real life as well. So I think this is very fitting. Um, and now we go over here, you can see all these little viewing galleries we have for kids. This is mainly for kids, you know, from the size of the, uh, you know, adults, they can always look above this, but the kids definitely need to see the babies and or like the kids. And um, we go over here. And uh, again, if you want to do billboards as in all the other videos, you can send in some billboards for the prairie dog. So it takes some screenshots take some snapshots of the video and then make like a, a nice little education board and you can bring that over to me by the way if you want to put that into the gilded the link is down in the description you can join the gilded if you want or you can also um, send it via email if you want to do this it might be a bit more easy for you if you don't want to join the gilded which is totally fine um, you find the email as always on my channel but otherwise it's reader.rennecampbell at googlemail.com pretty easy now then we have got another little cave in here where the kids can actually look into um, I, have, I haven't found anything which I could give them to make their way in there I put some enrichment items there but you know at the end of the day it's just open maybe some someday they will run in there but well whatever it is just imaginative and then if you continue over here even more viewing opportunities a lot more tunnels for them to play in we've got the melon and then we've got this beautiful little walkway and you can already see from the staff they are moving quite nicely through here they're not actually getting into one of the planters even though that is just one long pathway but with the update we got the curbs and barriers and i've hidden them sneakily in here so that they always need to go around i will make a tutorial or it's already uploaded i have no idea oh my god you can still see them through here need to lower that down a tiny bit more um i will make a tutorial on curbs again it might be online already then i will link this to somewhere or i will still upload this so you gotta have to keep your eyes on the channel and you will have this in a couple of days but i'm quite sure i will upload this uh, pretty early on so you guys can enjoy the best um out of the curbs and bears oh my god this just looks all so good this zoo this zoo is becoming absolutely my favorite look at them all eating i, I just want to i want to watch them eating look look Mmm, yum, 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 chewy, 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 chewy. Mmm, tasty, tasty, tasty. Actually, I would love to eat a melon too now. That is like something I would love to eat. Mmm, tasty little melon. I wonder how long they would eat on something like that because, uh, excuse me, the fact that the other ones still want to eat that. So why are you just running into the melon? That's not good. That's not very tasty. You did the same. Okay, well, if your brother does it, you do it too, right? Um, I like the fact that we also have slight fur variants. Very nice. Actually, sometimes, I don't know if you guys have the same, but I, I can't even remember that we had a time in which there were no fur variants in the game existing. Because thinking about this now, this really was a big, big issue, to be honest. Like, the, the fur variants add so much more realism to the game and so much more life. And I don't know... I, I just can't imagine the game without it anymore. Having always the same fur was like, you know, having different patterns, like for the zebras and so, was nice, but like it was impossible to spot that from a distance, you know? But now if you have like a very much, very bright brown little, you know, dude over here, you can easily spot that. While beforehand, when they were all the exact same color, that was like impossible to be viewed. But now you can see this one is like light gray. This is one, this one is like brown, brown gray, whatever. And I just love that. Oh yeah, attack the ball, attack the ball. Look, look at that one, this one's just coming out here. I just love this, guys. It's all so good. I could, I could just stand here and watch this all day long, honestly. This is just, this is just too good. This is just way too good. Look, this one rolling over again, having that little play. 
oh god it's just oh boy <laughs> it looks so good it's just everything in this habitat just comes together so so nicely like the keeper is also going through there delivering some stuff for them to enjoy the time having these little birch thingies uh, lying down here the little branches also adds to the overall scene and oh god it just everything Everything just comes together and I'm, I'm just so happy. Actually, I've never thought that they would add so much. By the way, I you like the little trick here with the with the gravel below. I think I quite like that, even though when they go up here, it will look a little bit funky, but I think it's just really, it's enough to have that. I would have loved to have the gate somewhere else, to be honest, because it's just at this point, it's not hidden enough for me, but I just could not figure out another space where to locate that. Like, honestly, it just, yeah, I wanted to keep the the distances quite okay, -ish and I I tried to integrate that with this building, but it just didn't feel right, and so I had done it this way. There's one one little fix I still need to do, and that is just give them a door to the background uh, back back door here, because obviously they couldn't enter this building otherwise. This is just like a little logic mistake. But other than that, I am insanely happy about this build guys i'm insanely happy how this all turned out and how this looks and yeah just in general i think it's a very very great build and uh i i normally don't like saying that about my builds so much but this one this one stands out for me a little bit just look at look at this also like with the little pergola above it and Having it looks almost like ants, um, <laughs> but yeah, it's just like really cool. Like this little little habitat here along the riverside. I could have even stretched that even longer, but I think the size relation to the animals. This is what we can have, and maybe we put like another tiny animal on this side if we will get any in the future. Who knows? But for the moment being, that's it. Um, a couple of things, guys. If you want to be um, part of this project again you can send in some education boards for the um, wonderful prairie dogs over here i'm gonna include some of them along the side here so just take a screenshot from the episode i think there's a lot of situations where you could take one from um, send them in make some cool lines whatever you know that that would be great and i'm gonna offer that i bring those in and the best ones in and i will also dedicate some names to you so the ones who offer them will also be named as a prairie dog um, as like a little dedication i hope you guys like that and uh, please let me know in the comments down below what you think about this habitat in particular and what you think could have been been done better or do you want to see this elsewhere whatever just let me know everything in the comments down below and as always if you like the content please help me tell youtube that you like my content by subscribing if you haven't already or just like the video leave a comment that also helps to tell the algorithm that is a lot to cover i know but um well i hope you guys still have a great time i still like uh, all of your support so thank you so much stay safe everyone until the next one and goodbye